Hi lovely Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for the month of February going towards March. Now when it comes to your connection, I feel that this is going to be a time when you are moving towards peaceful days, you're moving towards the sun, towards the light. Now um, I feel that you've been working really hard in your spiritual path and maybe for some of you you've been thinking that you're not getting any results or one moment you feel like you have faith in it and the other moment you might be losing it so no matter what the situation is right now um, I feel that the only thing that is stopping you is your mind okay your mind might be um, tricking you trying to make you um, trying to convince you that you are not close to this um, perhaps union that you so desire with your loved one now the other thing is that i feel that for a lot of capricorn this is a time of um illumination okay there's going to be a lot of um, things that are going to be revealed to you that maybe in in previous um, months um, you've been very much kept in the dark about it but there was a reason that spirit was not showing you perhaps um, some parts of your journey because um, as you are progressing in your spiritual path, spirit slowly but surely is revealing um, a lot of beautiful things about your journey that you didn't even know it existed. And um, I feel that overall your perception about this journey could have been changed, the way that you're looking at your relationship is changed and overall about the world in general. How you feel towards this person i feel like sometimes you feel like you are very close and sometimes you feel like you know um, you're totally losing them and what's going on with your person is that this person is um definitely have been working on themselves they've been trying to bring abundance in their life um, this person uh, wants to have something stable with you but every time they attempt um, to contact you or come back i feel like they uh, believe that they are still not ready so so um, I feel that moving towards um, summer days or in other parts of the world could be winter. I'm saying that there's going to be a lot of progress happening uh, within your connection. This person wants something serious with you. So if they come forward, uh, they might be looking for something, um, uh, something traditional, okay? Now, this is not for everyone, but I'm saying that, yes, for some of you, this person definitely is looking um, for marriage or um, they want to have something um, more stable than perhaps before. Okay, now let's start this reading and see what is going on. I feel like when it comes to their spirituality, this person is slowly but surely getting there. Okay, um, they are perhaps getting a better understanding of the connection. Uh, since the beginning that they started it with you okay so we're going to be using this deck and this one is called the heart path um, oracle cards if i'm not mistaken and um we're going to take a look at both of your energies this is going to be a little bit on a spiritual um, level and then we're going to be moving into 3d as well okay let's see um capricorn what is going on we have place of knowledge and unconditional love unlock and release the fear this is beautiful this is you and um we also have calculating karma breaking the bonds that's on their end this is really beautiful time for the both of you actually Spirit, please tell me what is going on for my lovely Capricorn. We also have twin energies, reconciliatory union, straighten your commitment as the energy of the union. Okay. So beautiful. All right. Let's get maybe some more cards and then we're going to start your reading. Um, the key to success, open your heart. That's on their end. Spirit, please tell me what is going on for my lovely Capricorn. We also have mindfulness, a stairway to personal power. That's beautiful. Okay. All right. I think I'll get one more card for the union. Oh my God, it came by itself. Um, commanding performance, renewing your promise. I believe that this card came out in um, another reading that I did for you guys. Um, perhaps in previous months okay so let's take a look at your energies and see what's going on I feel like for um, Capricorn what is happening here is that um, 
you are just saying no you are staying away from people that are depleting your energy you are leaving relationship connections friendship anyone that is not aligned with your energy you are saying bye bye okay so i feel like you are you have a really good understanding of yourself at this point of your journey you're you are um, strongly rooted in yourself in um and in some cases i would say that you are strongly rooted in mother earth you are caring not only for yourself but but also for the environment perhaps to the animals um to nature to plants whatever that it is i feel like you are protecting gaia you are protecting yourself and um because i see that there is that feminine energy that you are embracing doesn't matter if you're a masculine that now you're watching this but i feel like you are someone who is very caring you're someone that you deeply care about animals um especially there is a moose here there is um also i don't know i'm seeing beavers so it could be that some of you are living in canada or um that part of the world is being showed up now that's not for everyone of course so you know sometimes i say things that it just comes to me so take what resonates and what else they're saying is that when it comes to your connection you are loving this person unconditionally whether they want to come back to you you know or not i feel like you still love this person and you love them because you have that inner knowing there's something within you that no matter you know that no matter what happens everything is going to be okay you're not afraid anymore okay you're not afraid that this person is going to come back to you or not with this with a place of knowledge and unconditional love you have love for every single being on this um, planet earth you care about everyone and everything especially when it comes to um i don't know plants even like i don't know um they're talking about maybe bugs or maybe for some of you you really love like um dragonflies because there's a lot of dragonflies here if i'm not mistaken i don't know they look like dragonflies here um but they're also saying that um i feel like this is a really interesting card if you take a look closely to it and um if you see there's a divine feminine sitting and she has there are you know she's holding two hearts okay and um and she's unlocking the you know unlocking the moon okay she's unlocking the moon and what does that mean is that she is unlocking her intuition okay something really um you have that inner knowing and that's why you are not afraid anymore unlock and release the fear you're not afraid because you know that um every single um perhaps being on on earth or in this universe is interconnected and you believe that no matter matter what you two are going to be united with each other okay maybe both of you are very um i don't know like you two have a green thumb like both of you okay you and your other person or perhaps um it's almost like as if your heart belongs to the earth your heart belongs to nature okay this is what they are saying and also you are unlocking this inner knowledge that you have perhaps about your connection i feel like you're not afraid anymore okay so your fears are gone and you're feeling um a, a lot um perhaps more in peace with what is going on in your relationship and it also says a stairway to personal power so you're definitely claiming back your personal power you, you see you are rooting yourself really really strong on earth and also you are unlocking your intuition getting in touch with that b is also being showed up could be your you know there's a lot of spirit animals that are being showed up especially for some of you maybe it's bees dragonflies okay now what is going on on your person's end i know you really want to see how they are doing in their journey is that your person um is breaking from a situation and that could be a karmic um, relationship but not necessarily for some of you but overall they are breaking a bond with someone or perhaps it could be breaking a bond with unhealthy patterns that they kept repeating in their lives um, i'm saying that for some of them they've been um, almost like tangled in a situation with several people even that they couldn't get themselves out it's almost like as if this person had so many 
um, so much karma that they had to pay off before they could um, come into this union with you but they are doing that okay and they're also looking to see um, to clean up their karma so basically whoever that they owe they're trying to clean that up like let's say if they owe money or if they have been hurting someone I feel like they are trying to basically breaking themselves free out of that like paying that debt and um, moving forward so in a lot for a lot of you in this case could be a karmic um, situation that they are letting go or a relationship okay um i feel like they've been also um this person has been doing a lot of things at the same time we have it's very these cards are really one of my favorites they are super um detailed and there's a lot of esoteric knowledge um, hidden in the imagery which I absolutely love because um, in Toro and also Oracle cards it's really important the imagery to me it's really important because that's when you can get the information it's like a hidden um, symbols in each of these um, cards now um your person could be a pisces okay for some of you this person is a water sign especially pisces is being showed up but i feel like overall they've had your person could have been in so much depth that they are getting themselves out of okay um basically breaking the bond that they have breaking that karma that has been maybe going on in their lives forever almost like they have they kept repeating it now the other thing is that they're opening their heart to you i feel like this person is um it's really interesting because look at this card that it has two dogs and one of them has a key so i feel like they stayed loyal to you this person definitely did not um wanted to date someone else they did not wanted to go out with someone else or um if they are in a karmic relationship their heart is loyal only to you okay and um i feel like both of you are the key for um both of you are going to be a key player in creating something that is bigger than both of you okay i feel like because both of you have been going through huge transformation and it's time to adopt to what is going on right now to the new changes and there is a ladybug so there is luck coming within within this connection look at this it has to do with something with environment maybe for some of you you're going to be working on some kind of environmental project to protect the earth in some ways whatever it is i feel like pr you are protecting the greenery you are protecting perhaps um and also it shows a heart is coming out of this plant which means that both of you are opening your hearts to this love if before you two have been um maybe on on their end especially if the heart has been close to this love now they are opening it okay because they're also realizing that um their success and it doesn't matter if it's about money because success is not always about money but they are um, receiving a lot of information that perhaps if they want to be more successful in their life you are playing a key you are a key player in that some ways and we're going to see how because i feel like you two are going to be creating something together which is going to help humanity in some ways okay and um this is beautiful year of dog is also being showed up so maybe for some of you you're born in the same year okay that's also what i see here the energy of the union is beautiful because it says commanding performance renewing your promise uh, promises this card showed up for um i don't know i believe that it was for you guys but again there is a ladybug here okay and again there are butterflies so both of your lives they're saying that has been changed but this is the, a distant change this is something that um perhaps both of you promised as i said this before in my previous video is something that you two promised each other be even before coming here on this um, planet okay and it says renewing your promises maybe you two um like on a soul level promise that you're going to come here to complete a mission a really important humanitarian or something that has to do with environments or even animals okay <clears throat> it's going to be showed up for both of you um and it's going to uh, demand perhaps a lot of your time with this person so you two might have to spend a lot of time together um okay 
it could also be like a, I don't know like a partnership of some sort that you are going to have with them now because look at these two elephants and everything in this card looks like very much um, it looks very much in pairs okay there are two butterflies two elephants and um, oh my god I forgot the name of this one oh gosh what was the name anyways you guys know <laughs> okay all right and um and, and this is also beautiful and it says twin energies reconciliatory union straighten your commitment i don't know if you guys are realizing but i feel like spirit is talking a lot about commitment you two are going to be committed to each other not only this is on a soul level but i'm seeing on a physical level okay um, and there is a blue rose in the middle which is talking about the difficulties that you two had to endure in order to come to this union so it hasn't been coming to both of you is as easily and um, you two worked really hard for it and that's why there is I see a lot of um, you know there's a lot of sun there's a lot of warmth coming into your connection and into your life it's almost like you are moving towards sunny days you're moving towards the days that not only uh, you know your career but also um in relation to this person okay so i feel like you two are going to be doing something this is what i'm strongly feeling here okay now um let's continue this reading okay and see what else is going on sorry guys just give me a second all right guys i got disconnected okay so let's continue your reading and what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be using this deck and this one is called um the unicorn tarot okay um and we're going to see what else is going on for you guys this is going to be perhaps a little bit more 3d with tarot okay let's take a look and see what else is happening? All right, Spirit, please tell me what is going on for my lovely Capricorn and their divine <laughs> counterparts. We have the chariot, okay which is usually a cancer but i don't know for some reason i'm seeing sagittarius here because it just looks like that but anyway oh my god talking about sagittarius we have the temperance so maybe for some of you this could be about a sagittarius could be a cancer too so just take what um, resonates with you all right let's see spirit please tell me what is going on within this connection okay we also have the page of pentacles that's on their end spirit please tell me what is going on within this connection and we also have the five of swords that's on your end Spirit, please tell me what is happening within this connection. Okay, we also have the Queen of Swords, it's, and it says Amazon. So this is on your end. And of course, they have this astrological signs um, associated with each of um, with each of the cards. So, of course, the Chariot is a Cancer, but for some reason, I'm seeing like Sagittarius and um, no kidding, Temperance also just showed up. So maybe for some of you, that could be a confirmation. Okay. All right. So, um, oh wow, the energies are pretty strong. We also have the High Priestess, Fortune Teller. Oh my goodness, for some of you that you're watching this, maybe you are a Fortune Teller. Maybe you are a High Priestess. I would say a High Priestess or you could be an oracle reader that you are watching this and you are maybe in this love journey and you've been wondering what is going on here okay spirit please tell me what else is going on we also have the queen of cups okay on your end and um we also have the tower okay that's on their end and um, we have the judgment okay that's the energy of the union oh wow all right we also have the knight of swords 
Okay, that's on their end. I'm gonna have it here. So let's see. Let's see what else is going on. We also have the Four of Cups on their end and Seven of Cups. Okay, again on their end. And let's get some cards for you guys and also for the union as well. We also have the Seven of Pentacles, okay, on your end. Let me move the camera a little bit more down, okay? All right. What else? And we have we have here the Ten of Pentacles for you guys and the Hierophant in the middle of the energy as the Union. We're going to get one more card for the Union for you guys. Spirit, please give me one more card for Capricorn Union Energies. All right. What is that? Is the Four of Wands. That is beautiful. Okay, so... Definitely for some of you, there's a confirmation that this person could be your twin flame, okay? Just a second here. All right, so for those of you that you are watching this and um, you are a high priestess that you are watching, now they are saying that maybe you've been stepping into your divine mission maybe for some of you you are working even with tarot i don't know with crystal balls anyways you are a fortune teller that you are watching this and um what i also see here is that you have been you you are keeping the love within you i feel like you haven't um you know let this person go but at the same time you have a lot of confidence right now that um perhaps what is meant to be is gonna happen like basically you're not forcing anything you are focused heavily on yourself and also you as i said this to you you have that inner knowing which is guiding you which is helping you so trust that okay trust that and do not let your mind play with you or trying to distract you from your um from this journey okay because i'm saying that for some of you you could possibly be in a twin flame journey now it's not for everyone doesn't really matter what you call it so that's okay but I'm saying that um, there is that intensity within this connection and you had to be strong. You had to, um, you know, for some of you, I feel like you basically, let me see what you have been doing here. I'm seeing that there has been a lot of um, friction, okay? There has been a lot of things that you needed um, perhaps in order to get here okay and a lot of it has to do with pain or a lot of it has to do with um, maybe even for some of you to find out what is it that works for you in terms of structure because Capricorns are usually very or very structured they love that and they work really hard so I feel like maybe for some of you um, your focus has been heavily on what you love to do okay and um there has been um, maybe something like a missing part that you thought maybe you're gonna find it in this person however you know perhaps when the separation happened you found it within yourself you found something really invaluable you found um, one of your hidden talents especially for some of you you became a fortune teller or you started to do tarot okay i'm saying that you are doing tarot i don't know look at that it's like maybe for some of you you're even like have your own youtube channels you could have like i don't know tons of followers i see i feel like people follow you because um you are the most intuitive or you are very um very like you know what you talk about like you're really good at it this is what i'm seeing here and you might be even doing um this in a more traditional way like maybe you just do toro or you don't use a lot of cars it's just like you can tell even like by few cars what is going on so i mean i feel like your gift has been activated and you've been since then working on that even maybe before that you've been doing but right now your gifts are basically blossoming maybe you're doing like much better 
bitter and bitter you know as um, as you go, are going through your journey now when it comes to your um, feelings towards this person I feel like you you've been trying to put a really strong face you've been trying to um fight you know you are a fighter you know they're showing amazon like an amazon um warrior okay and they're saying that you have that rebellious nature in you like you you're not afraid of anything you go forward you know it could be that for some capricorn that you're watching this your masculine energy has been way stronger than your feminine so maybe a little bit things could have been out of balance maybe you were not letting yourself to receive it was always like giving it was always like fighting for what you want in life i feel like overall whoever is watching this you had to fight for whatever that um you wanted in life and this is the time when spirit is giving you a, a break or the universe is saying okay you know what now it's time for you to enjoy um uh, your hard work you enjoy the fruits of your hard la labor okay that's what i see some of you year of snake i also see and um you know with the four of swords i feel like you are in a very peaceful um uh situation right now you are in a very peaceful mindset or if not i feel like you know um february going towards march is going to be a, a month of tranquility a month where you're just gonna feel um i don't know you're just gonna feel like they're talking about an angel and i don't know what it is but i feel like you are that angel okay you are that angel you are an earth angel you know i feel like you've been enduring a lot maybe even some people don't see it as that way um because you are quite rebellious you have seen a lot of darkness but it's almost like as if you are right now in in this really peaceful um you know state of your life which no one and nothing can really disturb it okay this is what i see i feel like you are almost like resting after like a really hard hard uh, won battle you know i feel like for some of you that's the case it could be that um for some capricorn that you're watching this you have water and air in your chart especially libra is being showed up okay and um I don't know why I see also Taurus okay now what is going on with your person is that I feel like your person has been going through a lot of healing okay I also feel that um, you know they thought that this connection is over they thought that maybe they can fight it they thought that they've been going through a lot of emotional turmoil okay like maybe a lot of emotional instability like up and down up and down sometimes they felt like they wanted sometimes they felt like they don't want it so there has been a lot of um perhaps doubt in their um in their mind about the connection but um and the reason for it is some of them they are in a karmic relationship that it's been very hard to get out of okay there's a lot of um sneaky people around your person okay that they wanted them to be like i don't know they wanted to they did not wanted to see your person to succeed okay but they are succeeding anyways with the chariot i feel like this person also just like you you both of you are spiritual warriors that's what spirit is telling me um what they want to say is that also your person is going through um a tower moment where i feel like it's possible that something very dark something very um a difficult period in their life is um over okay and they've been fighting they've been fighting for such a long time now remember that the energies could be vice versa perhaps on your end could be something um maybe you feel this way but whatever it is just um take take the part that resonates with you mostly now this person also has been fighting there is a lot of sword energy so it could be a gemini or um 
Um, sorry, they're saying like a uh, knight of swords, so it could be like a Gemini. Yeah, I'm seeing like strong Gemini energy for some of you. Maybe they've been fighting. They've been fighting with a lot of fire around them, actually, with a lot of um, people that they wanted them to be dead or they did not want to see them. It's like somebody wants your, wanted your person not to succeed. And especially when it comes to relationships, maybe there's a lot of jealous people around them that they don't want to see them happy. Okay, that's what I see. Maybe for some of them, they've been ignoring you or maybe they pretended that they just um, are not much interested in the relationship because... Um, as soon as people realize that this person has a love interest or they have something really um, valuable or precious, they wanted to ruin it. It's almost like as if this person is surrounded by people that they just wanted them to fall or to fail. Now, um, they've been, your person has been a little bit, yes, they have been confused, but you know now that this tower moment is happening it's almost like as if they are realizing that what they have been saying no to is actually their destiny or is something that they are meant um to be with okay this is what they are realizing it's almost like as if um they've been going through this um, situation where they couldn't see these people how how um, these people have bad intentions towards them okay now the way that they feel towards you they they want to they want to fight for you just like you wanted to fight for them I feel like both of you have been fighting to for this relationship but on their end they haven't been showing you okay maybe on your end you did maybe you're like i'm fighting for this i want this you know but for them i feel like they've been doing that but you know but you couldn't see that okay you couldn't see that but you are in a very um you're accepting whatever that it is right now so i'm not seeing you like even i don't know bothering with what is happening um with them or like are you going to come into union even though you really want it you really want it but you're trusting the universe at this time and overall i feel like you could be a little bit tired too because you've been fighting for such a long time and right now it's time for you to just let the universe take and take um help you okay and um this is what i'm seeing on their end too and what else they are saying here is that the energy of the union they're saying that there is something that could be like a karma that needed to be completed okay that's why you two have not been in um, union yet it could be like maybe both of you are actually could have been in a karmic relationship or it could be them okay there's also Taurus energy strongly but what they're also saying is that this connection is going to end up into something serious like a marriage okay there's going to be some kind of a ceremony maybe for some of you it's just like a not I mean it's like a traditional marriage but in a very spiritual like way maybe it's not going to happen like in church or something i don't know it's kind of like non-conventional but regardless it's like a marriage okay there's africa there's some countries that i'm also seeing there's africa i don't know jamaica like some south africa i don't know some energies are coming or there's also um Sp spain is coming to me okay it's strongly spain as well all right so there's definitely past life karma, okay, that needed to be completed. And with the four of wands, they are confirming that, um, yes, this connection is indeed that fairy tale that you always wanted but it has it's it it, it, can, it comes with a twist with a twist of this karma or lessons that maybe you weren't aware of it because i see that when you two met it was um almost like you could see fairies you could see like you know you had a lot of um there was a lot of lighter energies but then this judgment card came in and it's almost like as if there was this um monster that you two had to slay or there was these dragons that you two had to slay before you two can come into union together now let's continue your reading okay and see what else um they're also showing like they're also showing medusa i don't know or in this case they're saying gorgon gorgon 
there is a lot of of course um, fables in this cards but I'm just gonna interpret it the way that um, spirit is telling me or my intuition is telling me hold on a second all right now um, it's interesting because they're telling me like maybe it's like whoever that comes your way like in terms of like relationships they turned into stone or like it just didn't work out i don't know for some reason but you know when it comes to this person it's almost like you have i don't know there's like lighter energies there is this like you almost like you become like an angel like you're this person let me tell you brings the best in you okay so if they are not then that's not it because i'm seeing that they bring you the they bring like the most beautiful qualities um you know you're like you're blossoming that's what i want to say okay all right so let's um continue and get more information because it's just getting more and more interesting for you guys all right now what should i use let's get some oracle cards here okay let me see what else i should get you All right, I think I'm gonna be using this deck and, oh gosh, I can't remember the name. This is by Tony Carmen Salerno, actually. And um, let's see. okay let's see guys let's see what else is going on for you spirit please tell me what else is happening for my lovely capricorns okay we have the golden path which is both of you are walking towards that after a, a lot of darkness perhaps that both of you have been going through there is that um oh my god this is a beautiful soulmate but of course remember that these cards don't have twin flame so if you're twin flame watching this then just know that um, it doesn't have that we also have meditation on your end yeah some of you could be golden rays and if you don't know what ray of color you belong to you can watch a video that i did i don't know i believe last year we also have trilogy of light as energy of the union you've been doing a lot of meditation a lot of um, energy work we also have creativity okay that's on your end Yeah, there's a lot of um, creative energy. We also have love. This is beautiful as energy of the union. Okay, now what else? We have guardian. There is an angel here. I don't know. There's an angel that's being showed up. Either this person, it could be like your guardian angel. An angel has been watching you, Capricorn, all this time. We also have universal hearts. Okay, there's Christ energy here as well. What else do we have we also have reflection so yes for some of you this is your twin flame as they reflect um you um to yourself messages from afar okay we get one more card for you and then we'll continue okay we also have the moon tree so um, there is a relation to the moon and i feel like for some of you that you're watching this you're extremely intuitive as i said for some of you, you could be very famous fortune tellers or um youtube um tarot readers okay hold on a second Now, how you feel about them is that I feel like you've been meditating a, a lot. You've been actually um, 
stepping into your creativity you've been diving in really deep um, I feel like you are really really enjoying whatever that you are doing right now um, because it has to do with a lot of creativity maybe you're gonna come up with some kind of ideas that you're gonna be applying that to your channel or to your practice and that could be with magic I see that for a lot of you you are working with magic now with the moon I feel like maybe for some of you actually you could have Pisces in your charts but more than anything I see that um, your intuition is guiding you now there's also an angel so I see a guardian angel that is guiding you um, in your path and has always been with you whether you were aware of it or not now um, this guardian angel keeps you um, on track helps you not to get distracted helps you not to get not to lose motivation helps you when you are meditating protecting you okay all of that now when it comes to your person i feel like um they have been it's possible that they have been thinking a lot about you they've been reflecting on this connection a lot and not only they are seeing you as very like even they are very sexually attracted to you but i also see that they see um they're seeing something else they're seeing that maybe there is more into this connection than what they originally thought okay as your person has a lot of um your person is actually quite a spiritual but they never been maybe in touch with that be, be, be in touch with that part of themselves and this is something that you are awakening in them okay so i feel like something is getting awakened in your person they've been reflecting a lot about this connection and also in general about their lives there's going to be a message coming from your person and i feel like they're gonna talk about the transition time that they are going through um, in their lives which i said that it could be about a relationship okay um they are stepping into that christ consciousness i feel like they are getting very very aligned with your energy at this time um maybe you're not aware that this person is just getting to that level because everything has been happening internally or in a spiritual world let's say um because for some of them i feel like they've been um they've been fighting okay they've been fighting and now it's time of transition it's time that they are um going to be stepping into that christ consciousness for a lot of you yes this is your divine masculine that um you see this person is has been fighting there's a lot of like uh, you know fighter energy that i see here okay and they're successfully getting out of that with the tower the dark times are behind them and um, you're definitely going to receive a message from them it could be that you know maybe for some of you you could be actually um star seeds as well okay that you are watching this okay it could be some star seeds because um your person is also receiving messages from um from divine from universe about you okay they're getting a lot of messages about you and it somehow is pointing to them that um you are related to you two are related to something bigger than yourselves okay this is what they are getting at slowly okay but maybe not right away but this is something they're getting into now the energy of the union you two really really love each other there's that unconditional love between you two and with the trilogy of light it's almost like they're talking about um you know the mother the father the holy spirit you know i feel like everything is getting aligned for this connection into coming to union now look at that i mean it's beautiful i feel like both of you are stepping into a really into what we call it as maybe a golden path which is the path of enlightenment you know you are you know it's like the soulmate energy is for both and there is a feminine coming out of that with the rainbow and the moon so you know it talks about the stages of your lives on both ends okay so if you're twin fame then definitely there is that energy of like enlightenment uh, there is a lotus and it's coming out of it there is rainbow a lot of abundance a lot of um and also there is a moon which means intuition so both of you are extremely intuitive even for them even though sometimes they don't want to admit it but this person is actually quite intuitive um could be a blue ray as well blue ray golden rays okay they really also love your body like they really um 
they really appreciate your body or see you as really beautiful no matter what form you are i feel like this person sees you as um i don't know they see you in the eyes of love okay so in the eyes of love um there are no flaws there is nothing that you know is not like everything is love okay this is beautiful because i'm seeing that both of you are stepping into this okay it's almost like as if the dark forest is um like everything is getting um all the obstacles are removed in order for both of you to walk here towards the sun this is such a beautiful and powerful time for capricorn so and i feel like you are just really like peacefully like your mind is at ease and if not this is going to be a month where you're going to be feeling at ease you're going to be feeling like things are going to be okay i'm going to be okay and this is going to work out okay all right just a second okay guys now what i also want to do let me see what else i want to do here okay hold on a second all right i'm gonna get you one more um, Oracle cards, and this is again by Tony Carmen Salerno. But don't ask me the name because I can't remember. Some of these are my older decks, and um, I decided to use them. All right. please tell me what else is going on for my lovely capricorn and their divine kind and oh my god i don't know i mean i'm seeing an angel again guys there's a lot of angelic energy here i feel like it's your angel being showed up in this reading your guardian angel what do we have we have conflict resolution maybe for some of you this person could be from another religion and you maybe you two are from two different backgrounds we also have awakening wow this is beautiful yes you definitely um had awakening upon meeting this person but they're also saying that this person is also going to have that okay not yet but i'm saying that both of you are going to be walking towards the path this path together if before it was separated now the path is getting um the same we also have healing on their end there's also a special message coming from your person we also have completion on your end we have beauty on your end okay uh, i don't know the names that are coming to me is jeremy jeremiah i don't know some names are coming to me haniel there is uh, of course there are the names of the angels too but I'm also seeing some names that are showing up. Okay, Jeremy, especially Jeremy, for some of you, maybe that's the name of your divine masculine. Okay, all right, we also have um, forgiveness on your end. Spirit, please tell me what else is going on here. We have the divine love. This is beautiful and um we also have joy okay on your end and we have emotions on their end and we have prayer okay and we have hope this is beautiful really really beautiful now this is on your end i feel like you've been praying you've been meditating a lot you know that's what i'm seeing here okay i'll get one more card for uh, maybe we get two more cards but let's see we have illumination this is on your person's and joseph is also being showed up maybe for some of you that's your paul joseph okay uh, amy anna 
intuition as energy of the union we also have sexuality all right that's on the end okay so i don't think my camera can cover it so let me see if i can move them a little bit here all right guys now what else is going on here is that I feel like there is a lot of joy, a lot of happiness is coming to you. You feel complete, Capricorn. I mean, I feel like this is going to be the happiest time of your life. It's going to be the most peaceful time, the time where you're just finding beauty in everything around you and also within yourself. Not to mention that this person sees you as really beautiful. Oh my God, for some of you that you are watching this, you are definitely also, um, you are not only beautiful outside, but also inside. Like you are beautiful in every aspect, okay? Maybe you're not seeing yourself that way, but this is how um, spirit sees you. And also this person sees you as really beautiful and also very, very sexually attracted to you. Oh my God, this person wants to see you naked. Like I feel like when you two are, together you know there's no way that you two are going to be very close this person is going to get you naked right away like there's that attraction now um i feel like for capricorn you've been praying for this for a long time but not only that i feel like you haven't been you've been praying that this person is gonna have happiness that this person is gonna be fulfilled whether it is with you or not this is what you've been praying for and you're forgiving yourself and maybe them for whatever that has happened in the past you are feeling complete within and that's why you are manifesting the union completion a cycle has been completed or i feel like for a lot of you you are realizing that you are complete by yourself you don't need them you don't need anyone else to be complete and this awakening has been an absolute a blessing in disguise okay um perhaps you know of course there has been a lot of darkness that you have been going through but get ready because there's a lot of joy now coming into your life okay now there's aquarius energy here strongly as well maybe for some of you yes your person could be an aquarius but they're also saying like um and i'm sorry guys i have to mention this but africa again is being showed up so maybe for some of you you are african americans or there is um especially jamaica as well or some parts of the world like maybe if um you guys i don't know there's those energies coming as well okay now what is going on with your person is that they're feeling very very um I don't know right now they have a lot of hope and desire that maybe you two can come back together um they're gonna message you okay there's going to be a message and i feel like this person had a lot of conflict that they have resolved it could be like internally as well it could also be about the way of um you know the way that they've been looking at the relationship which could be different from you okay but they're accepting that because they have a lot of emotions and also sexual desires for you it's coming to the surface they cannot deny it anymore okay this person has been healed all right healing and um i feel like for a lot of them it has to do with um not only with their um, perhaps uh, their emotions their feelings but also it has to do with um, their personal power it could be like a solar plexus chakra you know has been blocked okay and um, for some of them yes they throw chakra maybe communication maybe they haven't been communicating um, with you as much but there's a special message from this person coming okay their angels are also oh my god there's guardian angels all over this um, reading it's almost like as if your angels are guiding both of you to come together this is what i see um and this person is definitely hoping that this is going to happen and it will it will happen they're realizing they are having that illum something is getting illuminated for them as well perhaps about the connection um and um yeah if there has been a conflict in their life they have resolved it whether it was internally or perhaps it has to do with a situation in their life they have resolved it conflict resolution okay i don't know but for some reason i feel like maybe for some of you your divine masculine looks like actually like this 
All right, and um, for some of you, definitely yes, an Aquarius. I'm also saying some Jewish for some reason, like Jewish or Christian. Maybe both of you have different like religious backgrounds. Oh my God, this was beautiful. We also have intuition, and um, they're saying like both of you know intuitively that this divine union is gonna happen, and you two are gonna end up. Um, walking this path together perhaps again okay because I feel like it could be even lifetime after lifetime that you two have been walking this okay um, it's almost like both of you are intuitively guided towards this love intuition love divine love yeah definitely this is a divine love which is coming into union this is beautiful this is a really really beautiful card you two just know there is that inner knowing they know too okay they know that um and they have a lot of hope they have hope that you know they're gonna end up with you this is what they wish for and i feel like you've been praying for them but you know for you it's like you just want the best for them you you want whatever that is best for this person for your person and that's how you are um you have that unconditional love with them i feel like also you might be forgiving them or even yourself for something that could have been happening between the both of you it's like you're forgiving you're forgiving all everything that perhaps has happened between you and even other people okay so Oh my goodness, guys, just a second. All right, now let's get you guys some tea leaf readings and... Um we're gonna see what else also because i had i was having tea when i was also doing your reading and we're just gonna see what else is happening here all right okay let's see let's see capricorn sagittarius oh my god aquarius capricorn sagittarius is being emphasized here as the signs and get ready for really happy times capricorn because look at this oh my god hold on a second guys i need my spoon because this is gonna help me to show you guys there's the heart the rose and um, the anchor so your love is gonna become more, much more stable than it was in the past and I feel like there, you look at that there's a shamrock here okay a lot of luck and the sun okay a lot of sunny days bright bright days are ahead of you Capricorn it's unbelievable it's like a clean slate it's like a I don't know something really I feel like maybe you're not even like expecting that to happen but it's definitely related to love and romance with the rose the heart and the anchor it's like this relationship is gonna get more and more stable than it has ever been before okay you are moving towards the sun it's almost i feel like this is your um golden path this is your mission possibly with this person that both of you are going to be completing okay oh i forgot to mention lots of money <laughs> oh my god okay lots of money and also they are a little bit emphasized on pisces as well so maybe for some of you yes that could be a pisces all right okay that's beautiful a lot of prosperity i feel like money is coming to you there's a money tree oh god it's like yes prosperity is also coming for you capricorn which i didn't talk a lot about it because this is a love reading but it's something that spirit is also mentioning okay just a second all right guys now let's get you guys one message from your person and then we're gonna get you guys your charms okay um let's see sorry okay 
Let's see what they want to tell you. What do they want to tell you at this time, Capricorn? What does this person wants to say to you from their heart? And it says, when we reunite, we are going to have so much fun. I miss laughing with you so much. We are going to go on fun dates and do all those things that we said we wanted to do. I know you are patiently waiting for me and I appreciate your strength. It will be, it will all be worth it. Okay, so this is what they want to say that you know as i said it will all worth it at the end for you okay all your patience all your strength is going to be like basically paid off all right that was really beautiful and um, i don't know for some reason i don't want to finish this reading because it's just really beautiful <laughs> okay let's get you guys some charms now and see what other information is going to come we're going to get some confirmation for some of you guys and see what else is coming here a big oh my god a big um ladybug here okay let's see what else all right okay guys let's see what does your charms want to say for some of you this could be a leo and um we also have united states okay and aries for some of you okay so let's see maybe this person likes ice cream i don't know maybe you guys are going to be going on fun dates maybe you guys promised each other that you're going to go to some places and going to have fun and you and you could never do it but now it's like you know maybe this person is actually like having had a lot of fun with you you know i feel like you two were laughing a lot together and that was a good part of your relationship i hope it's not too late to forgive me all right don't worry i'm coming back okay letter r and it says twin flame or soulmate for some of you yes and it says you are my life my home this is beautiful oh my god i want to cry now letter n as i said letter r for some yeah i could see some r um okay let's see there's nothing i wouldn't do i will find my way back to you i'm on my way to you. i'm on my way back to you so this person is coming back to you if there has been a separation and also says even though i might have pretended that there's someone else it's not um i want you to know that there is no one else in my heart but you oh my goodness this is beautiful <laughs> okay i've been waiting for this moment this is a powerful soul connection um union is happening soon oh gosh timing is a spring which spring is very close if you are living in northern hemispheres we have letter z z um and uh what else letter z letter s also i don't know if there was another one but um okay and maybe for some of you this person is like yeah, libra could be like a, i don't know um, a fall baby and it also says i love hamburgers maybe this person loves like i don't know maybe they're like into like this kind of like food like they like ice cream they like like it could be like they like that type of food all right and they definitely see you as a unicorn like really magical ice cream again i don't know what's going on guys somebody really loves ice cream here we also have two ladybugs here so there you go luck is on your side capricorn if you've been unlucky in love then this is your sign that your time of those unlucky times are past are behind you okay we also have leo again wow and um we also have aries okay leo aries for some of you we also have scorpio and um, we also have cancer for some of you that could be a confirmation cancer again oh my god how many times wow french fries maybe for some of you that person we also have a shamrock with a ladybug are you kidding me it's like luck is on your side capricorn this is crazy okay and not only that if you guys remember the beginning of the reading look at this oh my goodness it's just like you are gonna be so lucky especially when it comes to your love life but i'm also saying in terms of money you're gonna receive that a lot of abundance 
all right this person is missing like kissing you or i feel like they want to communicate there's going to be definitely a special message from them coming okay and it says i want you to know that no distance can ever tear us apart i will always be with you never uh, forever never forget that that's beautiful i feel like you two are not living close by each other i've been thinking a lot about you and this makes me feel happy inside you are like a sunshine in my life i want you back and i want you now all right now that was really really beautiful guys that was really beautiful okay yeah we also have the cobra which talks about that kundalini awakening and i feel like your person is also going through that or there has been some kind of an emotional conflict that they have resolved and they're getting ready for this union basically both of you are uh, you know ready like your time has come to come into union with them there's also a bee here again there's a bee maybe for some of you that's your spirit animal that's being showed up okay and um for some of you they're saying like maybe this person lives like in a colder part of the world there's friends but there's also a lot of romantic feelings between you and this person okay so um let me see i'm gonna get you guys some maybe i'll get a little bit more and then i will also get you guys some countries and see what is the confirmation about that but let me get you guys some more and um, we're gonna get the countries as well okay there is enlightenment and i feel like this enlightenment is about the heart your person is having some kind of illumination about it's like they have i don't know and i feel like maybe even this this is showing me like some kind of a brilliant idea about love or this love is somehow um has illuminated both of your paths but it's not only about um it's not only about like you two coming into union i feel like you two are going to be doing something like huge for the humanity or some kind of an idea that it has never been done before and it has to do with love it has to do with relationships or somehow you two are going to be working on some kind of a project which is going to be really brilliant and never been done before and it's related to love we also have the ring so for some of you you are going to marry this person or there's that commitment um <laughs> maybe for some of you this person could be a dentist i don't know or um and it says with you so they want to be with you um i feel like a lot of abundance is coming to you sagittarius um, capricorn oh my god why am i saying sagittarius well because maybe there's a lot of sagittarius energy in this reading as well um maybe this person is also into some kind of a working with um some robotics or some kind of a technology i don't know maybe you two are gonna i feel like both of you are quite genius in i don't know in different ways and you two are gonna be inventing something or doing something um it could be with technology as well maybe you're gonna implement that in some ways okay um there's mushrooms but maybe for some of you like you love mushrooms and it also says past life connection and it says i feel i've known you from previous lifetimes that is for sure for some of you okay and um for some of you have pets and there is like a you know very um i don't know close connection to animals that they are showing they're also talking about somebody maybe could be into sailing or you two could be like you know living far away from each other maybe you need to maybe there's like an ocean between you two there's distance definitely and it also says i'm feeling so much love for you um my heart is healed and i'm ready for us yes i told you guys this person is healed now heart chakra is opening up to divine love oh my god are you kidding me this is just gorgeous for you guys divine love yeah their heart chakra is open but i feel like both of you are okay so it's it's just done for you guys what can i say i'm also saying texas or mexico for some of you could be or some like you know you could be like living in a um, cold area the other one could be like living in a warm area now as the last part let's get you guys some countries and see what is gonna be confirmed we have belly 
we have ticket to Canada oh gosh we have Paris okay we have Paris again this is crazy we also have London and it says travel so yes there's traveling involved London oh my goodness let me get more more countries um, all right what else do we have we have Fouquet <laughs> we also have oh my god are you kidding me how many Paris is there and we also have Hawaii all right so I hope that you guys enjoyed your reading I'm sending all my Capricorns so much love until next time